effective. Our Claire Kreitz decided to put them to the test. She joins us from the University of Arkansas Little Rock, where she did the experiment. I think I know the answer, but I'm going to let you tell it. <laughs> Yeah, Donna, you know there are a lot of options out there. You have surgical, you have cloth, N95, you name it. Well, I decided to go into the biology department here at UALR and put all of these masks, four of the most popular to be specific, to the test. Now the results are in. The gloves are on, the samples are labeled. Just like this. <coughs> and it's time to put four face masks to the test. And then we grow the bacteria and then check the results. Dr. Nawab Ali, a microbiology professor at the University of Arkansas Little Rock, helped me with this experiment. But we do multiples, like two, three, maybe. I coughed into three petri dishes wearing each mask. <coughs> mask number one, an N95. <coughs> number two, a disposable surgical mask. <coughs> number three, a cloth mask. <coughs> and last but not least, a neck gaiter. <coughs> To show the difference between mask and no mask, I coughed into three dishes, face uncovered. <coughs> Bacteria should go on the plate. Now we wait. Dr. Ali says the goal is to have no bacteria growth or colonies in the dishes. My expectation was that all of the masks would prevent. 72 hours later, the results are in. Come back and see a number of colonies, you will see small spots on them. As expected, the no mask sample had the most growth. The N95 cloth and neck gaiter had none, but the surgical mask. Can you see these colonies here? Actually had a little growth on two of the dishes. Yeah, I am a little surprised. Even still, Ali says a mask is better than no mask at all. This does show that mask, face mask prevents Bacteria coming out of your mouth when you cough. Ollie says making sure that you have a clean mask each day does help. Now, as they're getting ready to head back to the classroom, he says face masks will be a requirement in his lab. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. 